Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Hello guys, welcome back to Aim Amy. In this video we will learn the isolation valve, that is globe valve. Globe valve is used to regulate the flow of fluid from one section to other. The spindle is rotated by help of hand wheel. Due to rotation of spindle the valve move up and down. When the valve sits over the valve seat, the passage of fluid is completely closed. The fluid passage may be partially or fully opened by moving the valve up, help of rotating the hand wheel the clearance between valve and valve seat regulates the flow of fluid out of section. In locomotive boilers, the supply of the steam is regulated by means of regulator which is placed inside boiler cell and operated by a handle from driver's cabin. Valve is placed directly over the boiler and connected to the steam pipeline is called the junction valve. If it is placed near to prime mover then normally called steam stop valve. The lower ends of spindle connected to valve upper and pass through gland and yoke, and connected with hand wheel. The gland is used to prevent the leakage of steam. The body of the valve can be made of cast iron, which can be having screwed ends or flanged ends. It is depends upon the application point of view. The flanged type is used in equipment or a boiler or heat exchanger, or else whether the mating connection is flanged type. This is mainly for the high pressure application. Depends upon the flange rating. The material of the flange can be of SS304 or else SS316. Threaded globe valves are used for very low pressure, typically for raw water lines, fire water lines. The body in this case is made of brass, hence the cost of these valves are less. Let's check out the internal section of globe valve. Here we can see the 3D model shows various parts in the globe valve. First is the bonnet, which provides the leak-proof closure for the valve body. The threaded section of the stem goes through the hole with matching threads in bonnet. Second one is plug or disc. This is the closure member of the valve, plugs are connected to stem, which is slid or screwed up or down to throttle the flow. Plugs are typically balanced or the unbalanced type. Next one is stem, it serves as a connector from the actuator to the inside of the valve and transmits this actuation force. Stems are either smooth actuator controlled or threaded for manual valves. Last is the hand wheel. The plug is connected to a stem, which is operated by screw action using a hand wheel in manual valves. So that that was all about the globe valves. Still if I miss something in this video regarding globe valve, please tell us by commenting. Please like our video and don't forget to share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.